How's it going everybody? Welcome to the film review, episode number 126. And the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is Trance. Trance is directed by Danny Boyle, who previously directed Train Spotting, 28 Days Later, Sunshine, Slumdog Millionaire, and 127 Hours, and it stars James McAvoy, Vincent Cassell, and Rosario Dawson. The story follows Simon, an art auctioneer who's tasked with stealing a painting for a group of mobsters, but when he suffers a head injury during the heist, he forgets where he put the painting, and the mobsters hire a hypnotherapist to unlock Simon's memory to get the painting back. Trance is the latest film from director Danny Boyle, whose films I'm generally a fan of, and with a very intriguing premise, I was looking forward to it. And while it starts off as a very exciting caper flick, in the end it ultimately turns out to be merely just a good film. Now keep in mind, there are plenty of good things here to keep you entertained. For one, the film is very well acted all around. James McAvoy portrays the conflicted Simon very effectively, bringing that uncertainty to the forefront many times. Vincent Cassell makes for an interesting mobster as Frank, giving him more depth than you'd expect, and Rosario Dawson gives one of her best performances as Elizabeth, the hypnotherapist, keeping the audience guessing as to what her true motives are. Danny Boyle, as usual, brings a very stylistic and energetic eye to the proceedings, with some very creative visuals and two very exciting set pieces in the opening and in the climax. He's aided by a terrific electronic score from longtime composer Rick Smith, and Boyle brings a very interesting, surrealistic quality to the dream sequences throughout. Unfortunately, where the film starts to falter is with the script department. Granted, for the first half of Trance, everything is pretty straightforward and makes sense to a degree, but once you start to move into the third act, it's where things start to come undone. Boyle and company want to keep throwing twist after twist at you until your head starts to hurt, and not in a good way. It feels like the filmmakers are trying too hard to one-up themselves with twists, that soon the story becomes boggled with holes. Again, while you're watching the film, for the most part, events stay intact. That is until the final two to three minutes, where the final twist almost unravels the whole thing. Ultimately, I'm going to give Trance a B. While it had the potential to be a great mind-bending thriller with top-notch acting and directing, its script ultimately lets itself down. It's still a film worth seeing, but lower your expectations. So that's it for this review. My next review will be up tomorrow when I review Upstream Color, the new buzzed about sci-fi Sundance film. And if you like this review, hit that subscribe button down there so you can get more reviews from me. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you on the other side.